Hey folks, it's Friday at last and what a long week it's been, but a good week of football for England and fingers crossed to England on Sunday. Let's hope that they win. But anyway, it is Friday and that can only mean one thing. Fact Fredo. I need some cool jingle for this so sorry. But basically, this is my weekly fact video about Sweden. And it's great this because not only does it educate me, but hopefully it keeps you guys entertained with some interesting facts about Sweden that you may not have known. Now, given the incredible temperature that we've had over the last few weeks here in Sweden, this is a very relevant one because it's about a chap called Anders Celsius. Now, guess what? <laughs> he invented the Celsius scale. And the Celsius scale is a measure of temperature. And guess what? The guy was Swedish. Now, I guess the name Anders kind of gives it away that he had some Scandinavian origins, but he was born in 1701. And unfortunately, he died in 1744, making him only around 42 years old at the time of his actual death, which is quite a good age for the 1700s, because actually the average age back then was only 35. So he did pretty well. He was actually an astronomer and a physicist, and he was born in Uppsala, where he eventually, in later in his life, built an observatory, which I believe is still there. Quite impressive. So he did create the Celsius scale because he needed a way to, or he wanted to have a way to measure temperature. There were other mechanisms around, but he created it in 1942, just two years before his death. Now, when he first created this scale, he interestingly had the boiling point at zero degrees centigrade and the freezing point at 100. The scale was actually reversed in the year of his death, actually. I wonder if they waited for him to snuff it before they changed his invention. But someone did reverse it so that they switched the boiling point to 100 degrees Celsius and the freezing point to zero degrees, which makes, I think, a lot more sense. Now, you may be wondering, how does this relate to centigrade, which is also a very common measurement? Celsius and centigrade actually measure exactly the same thing. They both have a boiling point of 100. They both have a freezing point of zero. However, Celsius was introduced with a more precise degree measurement. And therefore, that's why, despite centigrade being more common, originally, in 1948, Celsius was used instead almost globally. Now, one of the other reasons for moving towards Celsius instead of centigrade is because for some scientific and architectural purposes, centigrade was becoming quite confusing because it actually, in French and Spanish, is a term for an angular measurement. And that's why the switch to Celsius, for many, just made more sense. However, good old BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation in the UK, decided to use centigrade up until 1985 typical stubbornness of the Brits and especially of the BBC, I guess. Now, to confuse matters even more, there's then Fahrenheit. You'll all recognise the, the term Fahrenheit, which is, again, another degree measurement of temperature. However, it's rather different. It was invented in 1724 by Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. Now, it's slightly more confusing and illogical, in my opinion, because the scale actually doesn't have a freezing point of zero. Instead, the freezing point is 32 Fahrenheit. Doesn't make a lot of sense, that does it? The boiling is at 212. Far more complicated, illogical, and almost every country in the world switched to use Celsius in the 20th century. Although, oddly, you will see Fahrenheit still used today by America, some parts of America, some Americans. Now, the two scales are vastly different, but it is possible to convert one to the other. To convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, you subtract 32 and then multiply it by five ninths. Wow. Maths was never a strong point of mine, and so I'll never be converting Fahrenheit to Celsius, that's for sure. But anyway, there you go. Anders Celsius, a Swedish physicist and astronomer, and the inventor of the Celsius scale. I hope you guys found this rather interesting, especially with the heat that we have at the moment. And coincidentally, we have a very sweaty heat today. I think there's going to be some storms this weekend. And I had the windows and the doors of my house wide open. And I noticed this morning that the white walls and ceilings were covered in these tiny little white insects everywhere. And I mean hundreds of them. I literally took the Dyson out, put the extender on it and vacuumed them all up. But if you know what these are, comment below because I can't seem to find out. 
Anyway, I hope this video was interesting for you guys. If you like these kind of videos, hit subscribe below. There's also on my channel a full playlist of Fact Fred or videos, so do go and take a look. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys.